Hello, hello, hello. Welcome back to another video. Okay, so I'm going to tell you why you should be protecting your sexual energy. If not so much protecting it, you should really value your sexual energy. Now, I'm sure before you have heard of people saying that you should wait until marriage before you have sex. Why? Why, why, why? Why should we wait? You know, nowadays, it's like the standard or it's the norm to like have quick hookups, one night stands, quick pleasure. Go to this partner, that partner, this partner, that partner, and just have no repercussions. That's cool. If that's your intentions, you can live by that. That's your intentions. Who am I? I'm just sharing why I believe it is so sacred and why it is so special or why it can be so special. Nowadays, it's like people are having children before they get married. People are having children before they have a life figured out for themselves. Nowadays, people are just going to have sex just to have sex. The thing about that is, man, when you do not love that other person, it doesn't mean much. It doesn't mean anything. We want to wait until we love that other person. We want to wait until we fall in love with that other person. The reason being is because when you, when you begin to, to have that sexual experience with your partner who you truly love, you can allow your heart chakra to open. And when your heart chakra begins to open, your energy becomes intertwined. They, 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 they begin to exchange with your partner. They become a part of you. You become a part of them. Their energy becomes a part of you. Your energy becomes a part of them. You, you, you sync up with that other person. You sync up with their emotions. You sync up with who they are deep inside of them. You sync up with every little part of that person. Which is why they begin to mean so much more to you. Which is why they begin to mean... Which is why they begin to, 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 you really start to connect with them on an intimate level. You become vulnerable. You really get, begin to express that sexual energy. And it's for them. But nowadays, we're just allowing it to just be with anybody. It shouldn't be that way. It should never be that way. You should, I mean, honestly, for me, man... Wait until you find somebody that you can exchange that with. Because if that other person, right, is not feeling you like you're feeling them, or if they're playing you, just playing with your feelings, or just saying that they love you, saying this, saying that, just to have sex with you. If you truly love that other person and that other person doesn't, but they just want to have sex with you, when you begin to open your heart chakra, you begin to exchange your energy, which means it's pouring into that other person, which means you become not... Not necessarily hooked, but it's like they become a part of you. So they begin to mean a ton more to you, man. A ton more to you. When they begin to mean a lot to you, man, and you find out that other person is not reciprocating the same type of feelings that you have or don't feel the same way, it can destroy you. And not it can, it will. It will destroy you. It will that, that energy is so sacred. It is that, that is why we should be protecting it. That's why we should save it until we find the right one. Because when you find somebody who feels the same way you feel, I, it's one of the most amazing feelings that you could ever experience. But nowadays, we just go and we just have these random hookups and we're just... Sex with that person, sex with this person, sex with that person, with, without any having you know, any meaning behind it. There should be meaning behind what you do, behind everything that you do. Not only if that other person was just playing you just to have sex and you fall for them, when their energy becomes a part of you and you become a part of them, if they're not emotionally secure, if they are not, if they are not, I wouldn't necessarily say whole inside because you don't really need to be whole. If they don't feel the same way you feel, you can end up carrying a lot of their emotional baggage. You do. It's an energy exchange. Their energy is becoming a part of you and, 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 and your energy is becoming, you know, becoming a part of them. So if our energy is all out of whack, if we are not in tune with who we are, think about it. Their energy is going straight into you. The reason why your energy is going straight into them is because we're, we're allowing our heart chakra to open. Love is placed in the heart chakra. That is where the, you know, the strongest power lies. It's very important to protect it. 
It's very important to wait until, they, until you find the right person. Somebody who means a lot to you. Not just having sex just to have sex. Not just lying to someone just to have sex. It's a nasty world out there. A nasty world out there, man. It is. It's a sexual bond. It's a sexual intimate type of experience. It can really make you dig deeper and, and connect with your partner on an even higher scale. That is why people wait until marriage. That is why it's in the Bible. It is. There's a sexual bond that builds between you and your partner. And when that is connected, it can be very hard to break from it if you find out that other person was not truly for you. They were just playing you. You want to really know your partner. You want to know their mental state. You want to know their emotional state. You want to know that how they feel is the truth. And that is why we should wait until love. That is why we should wait until we fall in love. Me? I won't have sex until I love you. That's just me. Why? Because I know how sacred it is. I know what happens. I know that energy cord. And let me tell you, when things don't go your way and you find out that other person has just been playing with you, it can screw your mental state up. It will screw your, you know, it'll screw everything up inside of you and it will torture you. It will destroy you. It will. Now, like I said, if your intention is just to go and have pleasure, go for it, man. Who am I? I'm nobody. But at the same time, if you just go and you just have that, if you just have that intention for every single hookup, when you truly find somebody, your mindset is already going to be adjusted just for the pleasure. So it's going to be very hard to connect to that person on an emotional level. Very hard. You want to know that other person and you want to feel vulnerable. You want to be, you want to be able to be vulnerable. You do. Because that's how you open your heart chakra. That is how you have this energy exchange. I mean, it could leave you to the point where you're crying during it. I mean, it could leave you to the point where you're crying afterwards because of just how, how special that moment was. If the love isn't already 100 out of 10 prior to having that experience, it's going to be a million out of 10. That is why it's so sacred, man. And you should protect it until you find somebody who you can really feel with, who really understands you for you, who really feels you the way you feel yourself, the way, I mean, you, you guys want something for, for each other. Will it, you know, willing to build something between each other. Nowadays, man, uh, a lot of people are just going and having sex and having kids before they even know each other. It's insane. It's incredible. Like, I, 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 that just makes zero sense to me. It doesn't. It can screw your life up if you find out that other person is not truly for you. So before, you, before next time you go and you have a sexual experience, think twice. Think twice. I'm now, I, like I said, I'm not against quick hookups. You know, if that's you, man, go for it. But it should be special and it should remain special. And the longer you wait until you find that person, the more of that special moment multiplies. Because you've been waiting until you found the right person. Until you can, you know, you can become vulnerable. You can exchange your emotions. You can exchange your feelings. You can exchange energy. It's a pleasant experience, man. It really is. So next time, think about it. Seriously. All right? I love you guys and peace and love.